Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. This is going to be how we make the most of our space in a little house. So basically we live in a two bed interior house. There is three of us. We are really lucky in the fact that we even have a roof over our head so we are very very grateful for that. But sometimes it can get a bit tight with three of us. We've got a four year old little girl and we find ourselves running out of space quite a lot. So what we thought is when we'd done a lot of the work to the house, we thought we would try and make as many practical decisions with regards to furniture as possible. And I thought we would just take you through the house and just show you exactly what we've done, the different types of furniture that we've introduced into the house and how it's been working for us as a family. They are all quite reasonable prices and I will try and link all of them down below. But yeah, let's get into it and I hope you enjoy. Although the majority of the storage ideas I'm showing you are from Ikea, I thought I would include this as well. Now, this is our bed. We actually got this off of Groupon and I think it was like £190 or something. So it was quite a good deal. This is a king size. So we did have a super king before, but we decided not to get something as big this time. Yeah, it's just quite a plain bed. We've got a grey headboard. I don't particularly love the headboard to be honest and if possible I think we will be looking to kind of get rid of this and get something else but I wanted to show you why I love this bed so much. So as you can see this is an ottoman bed and I maybe should have cleaned it out before I actually showed you. I just thought I would show you exactly how much you can get under here. Obviously as you can see I've got some vacuum packs which is to like reorganize all of this stuff up here. But these little boxes that I got are from Ikea and I think they were around maybe two to four pounds each. You can get them in all different sizes. This one here, although you can't actually see it, is one of the larger ones and that just contains some of my handbags and my shoes, although they are like spilling out onto here unfortunately. But yeah, I just thought I would grab them just to tidy up a bit. I do know where everything is to be honest. So I would definitely say this has been like one of our biggest investments and definitely going forward I will probably always get an ottoman bed. I just think they are absolutely so useful and it's a space under the bed. Nobody really knows what's under there. They can't see anything. It's all tidied away. Although it does actually look a mess and it is a mess. I do really need to sort it out. But it is a space under the bed which nobody knows is there and it has all of the stuff that we require to use. And yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend an ottoman bed if you were thinking about it. I know it's a hit or miss with some people. Some people love them, some people hate them. I generally love it. It's the first one I've had. And to be honest, I can't say anything terrible about it. We, we absolutely love it. So yeah, if you have the space to get an ottoman bed, even a double size would be absolutely fine. If you are restricted in your bedroom especially, this would be a great alternative to just like a standard bed. We were also considering like one that had drawers at the side, but comparing them personally, I just feel like we would have got more benefits to the ottoman than we would have got to a bed with drawers in, at the side. So yeah, I definitely wanted to include this just to show exactly like how much space you get under them as well and how much space you have to fill it as well if you've got a lot of stuff. As you can tell we are a huge fan of IKEA. We've got the two side units at each side of the bed as well which is another great alternative. I know a lot of people like kind of side tables as such but we just thought these were great and again it just adds additional storage to any bedroom. And then to the left of me, you will be able to see our huge, huge wardrobe. Again, this is from Ikea. I will leave a link down below. I think we wear about £200, maybe a bit cheaper. But again, I just kind of see these things as an investment. I am so ashamed to show you inside. So apologies. It's very randomly laid out. But as you can see, another hanging reel, a really, really decent size, really quite large. Derek's side is the exact same and then we also have a shelf down at the bottom and at, in this little basket is where I keep my um, pyjamas and then I've got my jeans laid out here so I've also got the cleaning basket in there randomly which needs to go in the cupboard but I have my blue jeans in the middle and then my black jeans set to that side and also my trousers and then in the bottom randomly are my Doc Martens but then I also have 
um, one of these pull out drawers which are also from Ikea and I just love the fact that again it's hidden and concealed. I really do need to tidy this up. Again I've got another little organiser drawer from Ikea but I believe you can get, I've measured this and you can actually get some box drawers to fit like three in so it would be con completely concealed. But yeah like I said Derek's is the exact same. Obviously he's got a lot less clothes than me but a really really good size and yeah we've managed to get as much as we can in and then obviously as you can see we've got the little Ikea plants and some photo frames above and then to the side we also have another set of chest of drawers so these are actually Sophia's old ones we had two sets of these in her room when she was first born but we decided to throw the other ones away because they were built really badly <clears throat> Derek um, but yeah, they were built really badly and they were just kind of falling apart So we decided that we would swap hers to the smaller ones and we would give ourselves these ones So Derek and I have two drawers each and yeah, it's just a perfect perfect space So as you can see we do not have the biggest room, but to me that's absolutely fine We are just here to sleep in it and not really do anything else but we've tried to make the best of the space that we have available and I think we've done it pretty well to be honest. So if you would have watched one of my videos before where I showed you our makeover or like in Sophia's new room, um, we have just basically got a set of IKEA drawers over here and then in this little corner we've created like a little dressing up place if you want. So we just have a little unicorn on the wall there and this hanging reel is actually from Ikea. I think it was about £5. So we just thought it would be nice to have our little play dresses set up over there. And then she's got a mirror over there surrounded by fairy lights. And she just loves getting dressed up and then having a look in the mirror just to see how she looks. And then next to that we have this mid sleeper bed which we actually bought second hand. We'd been looking around for a little while and eventually we decided to get rid of her old bed and we're kind of desperate to get her a new one but all the delivery times are quite bad so we thought we would have a look second hand and we managed to pick this up and I think it was like £30 and I cannot express how good a condition it is in. So glad we went for it considering that she will be getting older and I'm sure sometime soon we'll want a new bed. So that we thought we'd go for a little mid sleeper so that we could create the extra space under the bed. As you can see, we've got the Calyx unit from Ikea. And again, we've got the boxes from Ikea as well. And I just think, as well as lifting the bed up, it gives some extra storage underneath the bed. Being a four-year-old little girl, she does have a lot of toys. And I think this is the best way just to make sure everything is taken completely out of the road and it all has its own place and again it just looks nice and neat and tidy everything's put away every video has got to be of me crouching down but um yeah as you can see behind me we have one of the wardrobes which is from ikea as well now when we found out sophia was a girl when we even just found out we were having a baby we did look at like all of the nursery furniture and stuff like that but we just decided that it wasn't for us i think we had found our quotes separately from everything else and when looking into the furniture it just seemed really quite small and I just felt like we would outgrow it quite quickly and we thought it would benefit us financially and just practicality more like to get a standard size wardrobe instead of like a baby one and obviously she is four years old we have never swapped this wardrobe but we have genuinely never had any problems basically the same as the chest of drawers that we've got we didn't get a nursery set it was all from Ikea and it matched her coat perfectly because it was all white furniture and um, the only thing I would say is probably if I could the only thing I would do is change the handles just to kind of jazz it up a bit so that might be something that I have a look into when we redo her room but yeah it was just the most practical thing that we could think of going for and this was really really reasonable I think it was about £60 maybe even cheaper so if I manage to find that I will leave a link down below so you can go and check it out but it was definitely worth the money especially because it was so reasonable it's now four years on there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and it does as well 
as it could basically and probably more so I will show you inside but please don't judge um, as you can see we really do have some sorting out to do it's a great size cupboard it's got a top shelf over there which has like all our makeup and accessories in it and then down there we have her leggings this is what we really need to sort out because it has all our books and stuff and again we're looking to get some shelves but um, until we get the shelves we can't really do anything with that and then down there is her shoes so if I can stand back you can just gauge how big this wardrobe is it really really is such a good size and like I said for the money that we paid for it is so reasonable and we just know that this is going to do her until she's older as well even until we move house possibly so yeah that is the shelving side and then as you can see this is their hanging rail and you could if you were kind of smart enough but it's nothing that we've really thought of as you can see it is absolutely awful and I really need to clean that out so I might do that in another video but we've just got like our little hand luggage and some of our toys and our books so there is a great big space down here so you could really use that differently I think what I'm going to do is maybe get some storage for under there just to make things a bit more practical for like our little games and stuff and just to make it look a bit better but yeah there is loads of hanging space in there as well this child has so many clothes and she doesn't even wear half of them as you can see it is a great size and I would definitely recommend this for like a child's nursery or a toddler if you're looking for something new and reasonably priced even for an adult to be honest I think like if we had the space we would probably get two of these like side by side so that Derek could have one and I could have one but yeah they are just absolutely phenomenal so if you're looking for something I will leave a link down below and you can go and check that out so this is another Ikea number this is our side unit and as you can see it's kind of like a ripple effect on the doors and we didn't actually think we, this would be like that we thought it would be just a plain like straight white door but when we opened it I was kind of like hmm I don't really like that but I absolutely love it I just think it adds some extra texture to the room and again some brightness all our furniture in here is white apart from our couch so as you can see we've just got some stuff on the top of it and this provides some really good storage as well again apologies about the inside I have not tidied but we've just got some candles, we've got some of Sophia's little hairspray and some bobbles. I really need to go through this. This is all my notepads, all my candles, we've got the dog's toys and also my college stuff at the bottom. And I thought this would be the best place to have Sophia's stuff as well. Again, we just have so much stuff of hers and I just thought it would be best to try and sort it out and put it into here. So I just have one of these like little filing racks and that's got all her colouring in stuff. We've got her VTech like computer reader. We've got some puzzles. We've got some colouring in pencils. And here is all her Play-Doh. And then again we have some toys and puzzles. And she knows exactly what she's looking for when she comes in here which is really good. But again it does require a little bit of a clear out. And then last but not least we also have one of Sophia's doll's houses. I've got my camera stuff in there and then again we've got these little rattan boxes which just conceal a load of junk which I really do need to clear out. It's additional storage, I love the way that we can display some pictures and ornaments and stuff. It makes the room a bit brighter because it's white. I just absolutely love white furniture as you can tell but yeah it just adds another something extra to the room and it fits in perfectly from where the two walls come from. And it would have just been an empty space so we thought we would do what we could and add some more storage in because we had the chance to. And then as you can see this is our beloved TV station. I love the fact that it's got some shelves in it so you can put some ornaments in. Again we've just got our candles, some ivy at the side and some plants and then our photo frames. We've got a nice little vase, our little clock and some more flowers. And then in this basket we just have some fairy lights which is really nice to put on at night. And at the bottom you will be able to see some more rattan baskets. Now the reason we decided to go for these is because this size of the box is different from all these other three. But we thought what we would do is get them in matching colours. It doesn't really matter that they're different boxes. But in here we just have some of Sophia's toys. 
and again it just makes it a bit easier because this is our family living room and it means that she's not restricted. She's got toys basically everywhere upstairs and downstairs that she can play with and she just loves pulling out all these baskets and everything and just playing with her toys and she's getting really good at putting them away as well. So I'll just show you one of them. It just, con oh, just contains a load of toys. But as you can see, it's just easy to put away at night, put the basket back, and if anybody else comes in, obviously there is stuff that you can see at the top of the baskets, but normally we'll try and conceal them. And it's just nice for everybody to come in and it's back to like a adult living room. Okay, last but not least is our beloved couch. We absolutely love this and it's probably been one of the best things that we've bought. We really, really battled because we've got a rectangle shaped living room so it's really long but quite narrow we did have a fireplace in there but we got that taken out so we did battle for some space and again considering where the wall is and also the door we were restricted to how big a couch we could get and every corner couch that we tested was just far far too big and it just did not suit or wouldn't have fitted in this specific space as you can see this is an ottoman couch, so it does have space underneath, which again is just so, so handy. Because we live in a two beds house, we are quite restricted with some of... The dog's just getting excited because he's... You can see his lead. But yeah, we are quite restricted with some of the space, so we just thought it would be best to have the option of extra space underneath the couch. And the most magical thing about this as well is it pulls out to become a sleeper couch, which is just absolutely handy. Again, like I said, we live in the two beds, so if anybody comes to stay, we don't have any extra room or anything. So when we went into Ikea one day, we had been searching for couches for a really long time and we finally seen this. We didn't actually realize it was a sleeper couch, but when we did, we just thought, absolutely. We measured it, it fitted, it would fit here perfectly. And we just thought this would be the ideal couch for us. I wouldn't say it's probably like a long term couch, I don't think it would probably last that long. We've already had one which we had to get repaired and because like the bottom wooden bit came apart. However, we got that fixed with no problem and yeah, it's just an additional bed for somebody to stay in if they do come and stay as well as the additional like ottoman style and it just provides some more storage for us as a family of three in a quite a small house which really does need sorted out. But once it is sorted out, everything will be great. And yeah, this is definitely one of our pride purchases and we absolutely love it. Again, I think this was in the region of between four and 500 pounds. And considering what you would pay for a normal couch, we knew this was only maybe going to last us a couple of years. But to be honest, if we had a spare room, if we move house, I would definitely get another one of these or hopefully be able to take this with us because it's just been an absolute lifesaver. So that is it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you would like to see more of these. And I will see you all later. Bye!